Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is another episode in the deck review series that I have been doing and today I'm going to look at the Sibylla uh, Oracle deck. Now this is a, a card deck that has been done by Antonio Lupitelli and it's published by Llewellyn. Uh, it is a 52 card Oracle deck, not a tarot deck. Uh, so anybody can actually read this, you don't really need any prior knowledge um, to actually use the deck itself. It comes in this really nice little box uh, and it is uh, got pictures of the actual cards themselves on the box. So this is something about a house over here and this is the lay, uh, you know, the, the thought card uh, from the deck itself. So it's very, very beautifully done. It's got a very, very old fashioned feel to the pictures. The box itself is not the best of boxes so it does tend to get frayed or, um, you know, it's got a little bit of tearing here, um, so try and look after the box uh, or handle the, car, the box pretty carefully um, or put it into a little pouch so that it keeps the box safe itself if you want to keep the box. So the uh, card deck itself is a, um, you know, the same dimensions as a standard playing card deck and it's... Um, like I said, a 52 card deck. It comes, this particular deck comes now with this uh, little white book. Um, the little white book is just really to give you a bit of information about the history of the cards uh, that Sibylla cards were used in the uh, 18th and 19th century as oracle cards or um, divination cards. Uh, other than that, it doesn't really have much uh, um, by way of the meanings of the cards. It tells you a little bit about spreads, but not much else. So, you know, after you use the card, uh, this little white book, um, you can actually, um, you know, abandon it or even set it aside and not actually look at it again. The cards themselves are pretty nicely done. They've got a little green border and they've got um, some kind of floral design on the back. So very, very pretty. And uh, the face of the card or the front of the card has got a white border. It's got the picture uh, centrally. It's got the playing card insert to the side. The card is numbered at the corner over there. And the uh, actual label of the card is given to you in those five different languages. Uh, the main label being uh, in French uh, at the bottom, but it's uh, got the labels in uh, English, Italian, Spanish, and German on the corners of the card over, the, over there. So I'm just going to take you through the cards themselves and just show them to you. Um, and, um, you know, you can have a look and see. They're quite easy to actually read. So this is number one, and it's love. Number two, a sincere friend. Number three, absence. Number four, waiting. Number five, a lot of money. Number six, the sweet card. Number seven, contrary or displeasure. Number eight, uh, infantilism. Number nine, uh, chattering. Number ten, anger. Name, number eleven is hope. Number twelve is enemy. Number thirteen is impediment. Number fourteen is flatterer. Number fifteen is faithfulness or affection. Number sixteen is loyal. Number 17, inconstancy. Number 18 is gamblers. Number 19 and uh, 20 are consultant cards. So whoever you're doing the reading for, you lay these cards down and then do the reading for them. So you've got the male uh, consultant and you've got a female consultant here. Uh, number 21 is fright. Number 22 is angry woman. 23 is the soldier, 24 is the city house, 25 is the country house, 26 is the wedding, 27 is weakness, 28 is thought, and this is the one that is on the card box itself, the picture that's on the card box itself. Uh, 29 is presence. 30 is a loss of money, 31 is protector, 32 is trap, 33 is the trip to the country, 34 is pleasant pastime, 35 is quarrel, 
36 is delay, 37 pensioner, 38 reconciliation, 39 important revelation, 40 is success, 41 surprise, 42 tenderness, 43 a blonde woman, 44 a widow, 45 is some money, 46 is a letter, 47 is a dark haired man, 48 a dark haired woman, 49 a thief, 50 is the journey, uh, 51 a visit, and 52 victory. Now you can see it's got all the uh, you know daily things you would actually go through and it's got a lot of emotion uh, that you would go through on a daily basis and just really uh, common scenarios that are bound to play out in everybody's life. So it gives you some good answers and it is a 52 card deck uh, so you know um, you've got a lot of uh, different uh, kind of scenarios playing out in each particular card. So it's pretty easy to read uh, just looking at the card will give you exactly what's going on. I mean, this is about presents and receiving gifts, so that's pretty uh, easy to read. Now, if you know about playing card inserts and the meanings thereof, uh, then it will make reading this deck even uh, more exciting or more interesting. Um, but if you don't know it, it doesn't really matter. Just looking at the cards themselves tend to give you answers. So it's a really good deck to keep with you if you're going through any difficult circumstances. You can actually use it to enhance your tarot card readings, uh, or you can just use it as a standalone deck by itself. So a very, very beautiful deck. Now I shall put the um, details of the deck and how to get a hold of it. Links to Amazon and eBay in the description box. So you will just need to click on the links to get a hold of the deck. Um, and I hope that you buy it and enjoy using it because I did have used it and I did enjoy using it. And, uh, you know, I think it's a very, very easy deck to use, uh, especially if, you, if you, ha you want to read cards, but you don't have the time to actually learn the tarot off. This gives you really, really quick answers. And it'll give you, uh, make your readings uh, much uh, better if you use it even to enhance your tarot readings. So I hope you do give this deck a try. And um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, now take care. Goodbye.